How free is your state? Has it improved in recent years, or is it on the decline? Learn about how freedom has increased or declined in your state in the Cato Institute's new report, Freedom in the 50 States. New Hampshire. This year, New Hampshire is our most improved state and currently sits as the second freest state in the country. New Hampshire's improvements are primarily driven by reforms on civil asset forfeiture and expansion of medical marijuana freedom. The Granite State's share of taxes has fallen from 3.7% in 2000 to an estimated 3% today. New Hampshire remains one of the best states in the country for gun rights, especially when it comes to lack of restrictions on open and concealed carry. West Virginia. West Virginia comes in as the second most improved state, ranking as the 34th freest state overall. West Virginia's improvements stem from increases in regulatory reform. The Mountaineer State passed far-reaching tort reforms and telecommunications deregulation along with a new right-to-work law. West Virginia's overall tax burden is slightly lower than average, declining from its peak 8.1% in 2008 to 6.4% today. Like New Hampshire, West Virginia is one of the best states for gun rights, buttressed by a constitutional carry law. Vermont. Vermont is the overall most deteriorated state for freedom in the nation. Its decline can be traced in part to its extremely high tax rate and backwards policies on land use and energy freedom. Vermonters face one of the highest tax rates in the country, with the state government taking 9.7% of adjusted personal income. The state has fallen all the way to 48th on land use and energy freedom and has done little to nothing to restrain the use of eminent domain for private gain. The Green Mountain State requires hospitals to obtain a certificate of need prior to opening. For more information about the current state of freedom in the 50 states, or to learn more about your state and where it ranks, visit freedominthe50states.org.